<laughs> okay, so first let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, we thank you again for an opportunity to study on health and a plant-based diet. Please send your Holy Spirit to help us understand these things as it is in Jesus. In the name of Jesus we pray and thank you. Amen. Thank you for joining me in prayer. Now let's begin, shall we? <laughs> in our last video, we talked about things to be mindful of before going vegan. In today's video, we are going to talk about what I call vegan essentials. On the surface, it may appear as though veganism is all about food, but in reality, food is not always the first reason or cause for people to go vegan. I mean, you never hear of people saying, oh, I went vegan because I liked the food, I saw the food and I liked it. There's always some resistance. And this resistance, when it is removed, that is when a purpose is born. Which leads us to our first essential. Purpose. For some, this may come about as a health reason. For others, it may be that they are compassionate about animals and the environment. And for others, like myself, maybe because of religious reasons, because God said so. Success in any line demands a definite aim. The highest purpose of your life is that of giving the gospel to the world in this generation. That is why religious reason is my first purpose for being vegan. This keeps me grounded. It reminds me of who I am in God. It reminds me of who he is and of what he needs. It leads me to materials that I need that will help me in the journey of veganism. Food, the fuel that supplies the basic unit of life, the cell. Our bodies are built up from the food we eat. There's a constant breaking down of tissue or body tissue, and every movement involves waste material, which is then repaired by the food that we eat. Every organ of the body requires its own share of nutrition and the process of transforming food to good quality blood is a marvelous process. Stock up your pantry with grains, beans, legumes, nuts and seeds, fruits and vegetables of a wide variety which will supply every element that you need for your body to make good blood. We read in the Bible, in Leviticus 17, 14, You shall eat the blood of no manner of flesh, for the life of all flesh is in the blood thereof. So we know that the life, or our life, is contained in our blood. Intelligence is here needed especially to make sure that elements like iron, magnesium, phosphorus, calcium, and so many others are correctly obtained from a plant-based diet in order to make good quality blood. Which leads me to my next essential, materials. We read again, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Majority are ignorant or do not know the physiology of their own body. Many are not taught and do not even seek to know the laws that govern their physical being. And the result of this is they destroy themselves by the food they eat. Knowledge in regard to proper food combination the effects of eating at improper times and of overeating should be regarded as wisdom from God. It is often the case that a decision to go vegan opens up the mind to other things or other healthy habits like exercise, minimalism, taking care of your spirituality and the relationship between diet and spirituality, which requires you to do extensive research. I believe that everyone who is thinking of going vegan or going vegan for the first time should learn at least five recipes that they will be going back to 
as they learn new recipes. And there's a ton of resources online. There's mentors that you can follow. Now, if you'd like some materials that could help you or some websites that you could look into, I will link some of them in the description box below. So be sure to check them out. The fourth essential will make your vegan life easy, but you do not completely need to have it in order to enjoy a vegan life. I'm talking about kitchen essentials. Now you may need a blender, food processor if you're going to make your own nut and seed butters. These are good to have with you if you can afford them, but if not, at least not for the moment, then do not stress about it. Just start with what you have. And the fifth and last essential is time and planning. Going vegan will mean that you'll have to cook most of your foods from scratch at least. So have a plan on how to execute your tasks in the kitchen. One thing that really helps in the kitchen in saving time is meal planning. I didn't care so much about meal planning. I mean, writing down the meals that I'll be eating throughout the week, it didn't make much sense to me until I tried it. It saves you a whole lot of time and a whole lot of expenses. Another thing that can help you is meal prepping. You may need to spend an hour or two in the kitchen for a day, maybe on Sunday when you're free, to make and prepare meals, at least the grains, cook them ahead in advance, put them in the freezer, in the fridge, and then when you need them, you can just take them out, pair them with something that you like, some good sauce and you're good to go, you know? There's a quote that says, it is a sin to place poorly prepared food on the tables because eating, the matter of eating, concerns the whole being of your system or the body system. And that is it, friends. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope you learned something and I hope you have the essentials that you need for going vegan. If you're thinking about going on this journey, it is doable. You can do it. Ciao. <laughs> okay, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.